Hello there, this is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. You are in the middle of a series with me called Love Poems for G- from God, 12 Sacred Voices from the East and the West. And in our prior episodes, we have discussed Rumi, St. Francis of Assisi, and uh, uh, Rabia uh, of the Sufi tradition. And today we're starting a new segment with uh, Meister Eckert. So let me give you a little background on him. I'll start first with a quote. A hand in my soul can reach out and touch Jerusalem as my other hand tastes the beauty, tastes the beauty of the Rhine. Meister Eckert is one of history's great mystics. His religious writings were so eloquent that they helped evolve the German language. He was a Catholic monk and scholar who often presented his faith and spiritual understandings in sermons of stunning clarity. Though the Catholic Church apparently feared Eckert's brilliance and was on the verge of bringing him before a kind of inquisition when he died. The works of Meister Eckert are a theological treasure. They are perhaps at times even divine revelation. Meister Eckert was born in the village of Holkem in Germany. When he was a young man, he joined the Dominicans at Erfurt. He superbly blended the life of contemplation within a career of great external involvement. He became a teacher and then in 1298 was made prior of the Dominican convent in Erfurt and a vicar provincial of Thuringia. In 1300, he began to lecture in Paris and two years later was given the degree of Master of Sacred Theology by his order. When he returned to Erhurth, he was made provincial for the large province of Saxony and later he was appointed Vicar General for Bohemia and was asked to reform the demoralized monasteries there. In 1311, he, began, went to, he again went to Paris and took up professorship. He was made the first professor of his order in Cologne in 1320 and remained there for the rest of his life. He was considered by many the ideal priest and scholar. It was life itself that Eckert loved to talk about the life of the fields and the life of the sky, and the wonders of the human heart. It is easy to see how he raised many a brow when he spoke out like this. Is this not a holy trinity? The firmament, the earth, our bodies? And is it not an act of worship to hold a child and till the soil and lift a cup? In communion, first seek that from your lover's soul before anything offered from a priest. His deep and radical insights and his great popularity with his countrymen led to accusations of heresy. Eckerd publicly defended himself in February of 1327, stating that he had always believed God was as God said he was, indivisible. And that sincere contemplation of God's own description of himself turned into the sublime experiences and compassionate understanding that he preached and wrote about. Eckerd died the following year. The church condemned and suppressed his work and probably destroyed a lot of it. In the 1880s, two Latin manuscripts of Eckerd's was found. Since 1980, the Dominican order has sought to reveal that Eckerd was an exemplary Christian mystic and preach, priest. So for today, I will leave you with one of his poems. It's called, When I Was the Forest. When I was the stream, when I was the forest, when I was still the field, when I was every hoof, foot, fin, and wing, when I was the sky itself. No one ever asked me, did I have a purpose? No one ever wondered, was there anything I might need? For there was nothing I could not love. 
It was when I left all we once were that the agony began. The fear and questions came and I wept, I wept in tears I had never known before. So I returned to the river. I returned to the mountains. I asked for their hand in marriage again. I begged. I begged to wed every object and creature. And when they accepted, God was ever present in my arms. And he did not say, where have you been? For then I knew my soul, every soul, has always held him. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and subscribe in your favorite podcast venue and share this with a friend who might be encouraged just like you.